Hi friends. So uh, we have seen how to solve equations which are uh, not really in the form of quadratic equation by using the methods and uh, you know rules of solving quadratic equation. So here again, if you see, we have a deadly looking equation, and it is you know uh, in the first uh, uh, glimpse, it it is looking as if it is appearing as if we are not going to solve it, but uh, we can use some trick and some pattern recognition to arrive at a form which can be easily solved using the rules of solving a quadratic equation. Now, there are a few things which are to be taken care of. So if you see some, some observation. So mathematics, again, as I have been saying, it's all about observation. So there is 7x here. Can you see this 7x? Now, if you remember any polynomial, quadratic polynomial breaks down in the form of, let's say, if, if, if the coefficient of x square is 1, then it will be something of this sort, x minus alpha times x minus beta, isn't it? Where alpha beta, alpha plus beta will be the sum. Alpha plus beta will be nothing but some, uh, let's say the coefficient of x. So here, 7 is alpha plus beta. So if you see, 7 can be broken down into 2 plus 5 or 3 plus 4, right? So with this hint, this hint, I would be proceeding further. So hence, I will be clubbing these two terms because 3 plus 4 ends up being 7 and 2 and 5 also is 7. So let's try and see what happens. So if I write this as x plus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 and in the right hand side it is 24x square plus 7x plus 7. Right now if you see on the left hand side the if you ex, you know you just multiply these two so what will happen it will be x square plus 2x plus 5x plus 10 first and then in the second two will be x square plus 3x plus 4x plus 12 right and this is equal to 24 times x square plus 7x plus 7. Now this is a catch. If you see, if you have noticed by now, this is x square plus 7x plus 10, right? So I am getting x square plus 7x here. Similarly, in the second term also, you're getting x square plus 7x plus 12. Here also, you're getting x square plus 7x. And anyways, you had x square plus 7x here as well. Now, friends, it is much more easier to solve such kind of problems. Why? Because I see a trend. I can utilize this trend. So what is this? What can I do? I can say let y be equal to x square plus 7x. Right? And then reduce this into this form. y plus 10 into y plus 12 in is equal to 24y plus 7. Now, this is within our reach. We will be able to solve such equations. Why? Because if you now expand, you will get what will you get? You will get an equation in y and that is a quadratic equation. So hence expand it, you'll get y square plus 10y plus 12y plus 120 is equal to 24y plus 24 7th of 168. Right? Yes, verified. So hence what? Now sub you know simplify simply so y square and then 10y plus 12y is 22y minus 24y is minus 2y and this will be reduced to minus 48 is equal to 0. So can you see we started from where an ugly looking equation very very you know uh, frightening equation but now it appears to be very simplistic very beautiful equation which is inviting to solve it. Okay so let's solve it. So hence, what is it? I can again use the splitting the middle term. So 48 is 24 times 2. So I can, or uh, 24 times 2 will not work. It's 8 times 6 rather. So y square minus, uh, let's say 8y plus 6y minus 48 equals 0. So this implies y is common. So y minus 8. And here it is 6 common. So y minus 8 is equal to 0. That means y minus 8 and y plus 6 is 0. That means what? y is either 8 or y is equal to minus 6.
Correct. So we got y, but we this question didn't demand y. It demanded x. So what was y? Let's see. Y was this x square plus 7x. So that means we got two quadratic equations. Okay. So too much work. X square plus. So this becomes just a mundane mechanical work to solve this quadratic equation. The only catch was the real mathematics was involved here where you had to think how to convert this equation into something which is beyond or let's say within our reach. So first equation is this and the second equation is clearly x square plus 7x equals minus 6. Let's solve both of them. It should be a cakewalk now. 7x minus 8 equals to 0 and this is x square x square plus 7x plus 6 equals to 0. Isn't it? So hence it is x square. Now you can write this as plus 8x minus x minus 8 equals to 0. Or for this you can write x square plus x plus 6x plus 6 equals 0. Splitting the middle term always becomes helpful. So x times x plus 8 minus x oh sorry minus 1 times x plus 8 equals 0. And hence this is nothing but x times x plus 1 and 6 times sorry. So I should not be writing like that. It should be plus 6 times x plus 1 equals 0. That means this is nothing but x plus 8 times x minus 1 equals 0. And this becomes x plus 1 times x plus 6 equals 0. So mechanical, isn't it? Now, once you have cracked the real problem, other things just is a formality. So hence, from here, it, x is either minus 8 or x is equal to 1. These are two solutions from here. Or from here, you will get x equals to minus 1 or x equals to minus 6. So these are the four Solutions minus 8, 1, minus 1, 6. You can check by deploying it back into the quadratic. Oh, sorry, whatever initial equation was given, and you will see all of them satisfy the given equation. That's how we convert a ugly looking, terrible looking equations into something which is very familiar. So, be you know, because after uh, quadratic, or let's say there is an equation which is of degree 3 or more, you rest assured that you have to convert it into some beautiful looking equation to solve it further right and there must be something something hidden in the problem itself which will help you to reduce or convert this convert the equation from the existing form to a quadratic or even linear form okay so keep that in your mind